Hi, I'm Theo Kalomirakis and we're sitting here in my theater, in my loft in Brooklyn. I design private theaters. I'm, I've been doing it for about 25 years. I started, uh, strangely enough, at Forbes. I was, uh, was working for Forbes as an art director of uh, American Heritage, and that's where the home theater bug hit me. I did the theater for myself in a house that was not very far from here. It's like two blocks away. And because I was working in magazines and my friends were journalists and they came and saw it, one thing led to another. And before I knew there were like 15 articles a week about this crazy little kid in Brooklyn with a private theater in his home. And thank God that uh, became a career. The first client that I got while I was working for Forbes was Ron Lauder, who was uh, running for mayor at that time. He came and saw my theater. He said, you know, that's what I want. I did the first one. I got a little less uptight about doing it again. I was afraid the roof would collapse and kill people, but it didn't. So I got the second one, and then I got, you know, the nerve to do the third, and then it became, uh, you know, I, I quit my job at Forbes to start my company. That was 1990, 1990. One of the earlier theaters were for Eddie Murphy when he was still living in New Jersey. Uh, we did the theater for Seth MacFarlane. It was the first private theater in California. I did a very nice uh, theater for uh, Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. Another project in, in Corona Del Mar, which was built to reflect the town that the clan grew up in Illinois uh, in 1940 with um, a jewelry store where he, hid, he put all the jewelry uh, for his wife. So you would walk down the Main Street, Main Street USA 1942, and you experience items that kind of resonated his childhood. And I went to Florida in Tampa and we did uh, a similar type of quote unquote village, uh, but with a Caribbean theme. There was a restaurant that served Caribbean feed. There was a, like a um, hard rock cafe type of club. Uh, there was an ice cream parlor for the kids, all the street scenes, uh, a bookstore. He has a collection of books. So he kind of, we kind of collected his normal activities. We didn't do something that he would never use. A room like that can cost, I'll give you a very big differentials in price, can cost anywhere from $100,000 to a million dollars. It all depends on the equipment. The speakers alone in this room are over $200,000. Um, then you add the amplifiers. There are amplifiers that start at $2,000 and they go up to $30,000. Projector, a projector, a SIM2 projector like that is $50,000. There are projectors by other companies that are $5,000. Again, $100,000, 80 to 100, all the way up to half a million dollars for, for a room like that, depending on the client's budget, understanding of technology and, and uh, what they want to impress their friends, friends with. Mm -hmm.